My concern is not AFCON. Benny's been injured for six weeks since I've been at the club. I've never received a phone call from anyone at SAFA asking me how Benny is until I saw the paper today. Um, we've tried to get him right, we've uh, treated him, we've taken him to gym, we're working on him every day. And we work on him so that he can play for Pirates. Um, if he performs for Pirates, and I'm sure they'll call him up if he's good enough. But AFCON is the last thing on my mind. Well, Benny played yesterday for about 20 minutes in you know, a training match, so that was a start. Um, he is training every day, he was at the gym this morning. So hopefully this week we'll, we can put him through a little bit more at training. We've got to be very careful because a hamstring at that age is, is, a, is a very um, sensitive injury. And it is quite a bad tear, we, had a, we did some cyber tests and that and he's still showing quite a little bit of, of healing still to do. So we've got to be careful and we've got to be, you know, go day by day. Because if he has a, another rupture then we set him back another you know, seven, eight weeks. We don't want to do that. We'd rather maybe extend his recovery by a week or two and be sure that he, he, he's back. It's not so much the rotation. I'm not, I'm not a big believer of rotation. It's more the, the informed players and what I see at training and obviously the injuries or suspensions. Andile is suspended for this one. Um, Vera did very well in the last match, so we decided to keep him in. Obviously, Okonko has come back from a bout of flu. He only trained uh, Thursday, Friday, so it was a decision we couldn't really start him. So, so far, it's been the injuries and suspensions that have really dictated um, more than, than anything else, you know, who's going to play. So, yeah, that's how we've played them so far. Okonko came back, until he's suspended. Now we'll have to make a decision for, for next week's game.